Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning we're going to continue with blocks and we're going to get into another small piece of syntax, the vertical bar, variable, vertical bar. This creates what's called a temporary variable. It's temporary to the context we're in. Here it's a little workspace that I'm in, so it's temporary to this workspace context. If I were in a method, which we'll get to later, it would be temporary to that method. And this, even though the syntax looks a little different, colon x, vertical bar, that's temporary to the block. So that x is understood only within that block. So any reference to x within this code block is understood only within that block. So here I have temporary variable b, then b is assigned to the block. So let's just do that part here, and then we'll do b value 12 and see what happens. We'll print that, and we should get what we expect, 14. I passed a 12 in, added 2 to it, and I got 14. So the execution of the block returned whatever object was executed as the last thing. So the last thing was x plus 2. The object that came back from that was 14. That's what comes back from the block. When I execute a block, what will happen is the result of the last message send within the block is the return object. So that's the way blocks normally operate. Of course, you can return early out of a block. I'll probably get to that in a future screencast for now. Just consider the fact that normally, without doing something different, the last execution in a block Whatever comes back from that will be the return of the block. So, until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.